Hey guys, Randy here with Off Grid Trek. Uh, I've had a few people ask about, they want to see how we can actually attach two solar blankets in parallel to provide double the average. So I'm just going to set this up. I've got an Apex solar generator here. I've got two of our 215 watt solar blankets. Um, and then this is our parallel cable. We have a six foot cable. That's our Apex. It's a six foot cable. So that connects Anderson SB right to our solar blanket or it can connect We've got a 16 and a half foot uh, extension cable. Uh, we sell these as well too. But either way, I'm just gonna start setting this up, kind of talk about everything as I go. So here's our solar blankets. And I know I've talked about this before, but I'll just show everybody again. Um, the big bonus to what we're doing this year, for new for 2020, is we can charge USB-C. We can do uh, also the USB PD with this, this as well too. So basically you're future proofed going with this. Any of the new devices that are coming out like iPhones, um a lot of like it's amazing like the iphones the ipads there's a lot of new even laptops that are coming out uh, that are all going to be USB-C, so you can actually charge directly right from the back of the solar blanket so either way i'll set one up right on the uh, the windshield here i'll put one right here and then i'll show you guys how we connect everything and the big bonus as you can see solar blanket here this 215 watt this is only 13.6 pounds. And as you can see, it holds up to the size of a laptop. So it really doesn't take up a lot of space. I'm just gonna set these cables out of the way first. And we'll come right back to up there. So we've got one solar blanket. Or actually here, let's, let's attach one. So first and foremost, I'm just gonna attach this. I'm using the Apex as de uh, demonstration purposes. We can also charge any of the other major brands that are out there. For example, Gold Zero, uh, Renogy, uh, the Max Oak uh, Blue Eddy, uh, as well as the, um, what are some of the other ones, EcoFlow. Any of the major brands that are out there, we can charge as well. So for this guy, I'm gonna use the extension cable. That is this. And then pretty simple with the parallel cable. So right here, you've got two ends, so one for each solar blanket, and then this connects right there. So we'll go connect this to this one solar blanket here. So nice and simple. Doesn't matter which one you use here, either one works. It connects, I'll just show you here. We've got our Anderson SB connector right there, just connects right in. There you go. Done. Nice and simple. So I'm just going to lay the other solar blanket out just on the hood here. Just to give you perspective. There we go. So nice and simple. It's a little cold because it's winter up here. And you can tell this one's been used quite a bit. I even have dog footprints on it. But again, same thing. You just connect this to the Anderson SB connector right there. And right now, you've got power from two solar blankets going right into the Apex solar, solar generator. Uh, give you an idea what this, what this will put out. They're rated for 215 watts a piece. They're also rated for up to 11.7 amps. And I've seen over 11.7 amps come in with both of them. Um, in fact, we did a test last fall. We had a 30 amp solar charge controller and we actually pulled in 24.8 amp. So that's 1.4 amp more than advertised, which is pretty impressive. So right now I see the blue light on. And we'll just go down. It's kind of tough to see. Yeah, there we go. Between the two, we've got 100, I don't know if you can see that or not, 175 watts going in, 176. Oh, there we go. 192 watts going in between the two. One of them's kind of pointed at the sun, the other one's just flat on the hood. But to give you kind of perspective here, if you just stay watching this, I'll unplug one of these and then you'll see the difference. So we'll just unplug one of the solar blankets and it'll drop down a bit. Yep, there we go. We went to 139. So I unplugged the one that's on the hood that's not putting out as much wattage because it's not pointing at as much as at the sun. But yeah, like I said, guys, uh, this is our parallel cable. We will be offering very quickly um, our solar, or um, let, me, let me rephrase that, a series cable because the EcoFlow and the Blue Eddy Max Oak, those two, they take a max of 10 amp. Our 200 watt solar blanket puts out 10 amp. So we can do a series cable to double up the voltage so that you can charge that much quicker. Because if we went with the 215 watt solar blanket, it's gonna overpower those two devices. 
So we will be offering that here very quick, quickly within, uh, by March, we will have those cables as well too. Thank you very much guys. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and uh, definitely check out our website, offgridtrek.com.